Hello there, today we're gonna make this jumpy text animation and we'll be doing that without breaking apart the text where you could just type in anything and the animation would still work. So let's start by creating a text layer and name it something like uh, jumpy text animation. I'm just gonna center that and scale it down. Now let's add an animator for two properties and they are position and opacity. And that's because we have the opacity going from zero to 100 here. And we also have position along the Y axis. So these are the two properties that we need. Anyway, we're gonna set the initial state. So let's move the position along the Y axis and also reduce the opacity down to zero. And now if you toggle down the range selector and try adjusting the start and end values, you can see the position and the opacity that we added are being animated from that initial state that we set. So we could just keyframe the offset value to animate this, but let's just go ahead and change this from per character to animate this based on words. And now if you adjust the offset, you can see that it's animating based on words. And one more thing you'll notice here is that the animation word by word only happens after the animation of the previous word is sort of complete. So in order to avoid that, we need to change the shape of the animation from square to ramp up. And now even when the word is being animated, the subsequent words are being affected. So that's what we want. Now let's keyframe the offset value from minus 100 to positive 100. And let's also mess around with the ease high and ease low values to see how much of easing is happening at the top and at the bottom. So feel free to play with that, but these are the values I'm going for. I'm just eyeballing here and see what works best. They play in it back. Okay, so I think we're good. And the last thing we need to do is add one more animator for the position property because we'll need to uh, sort of drop this text and make it feel like it's landing on a surface. So let's adjust the Y position and also apply some of the same changes that we did on animator one, which was change to words here and also change to ramp up. Now let's also keyframe the offset property like we did for animator one. Uh, it goes from minus 100 to positive 100. And that's basically it. You have the animating in part and the settling down part here. And to make this second part animation more snappy, I'm just gonna adjust the ease high and ease low. Maybe put a negative value here for ease low to make it more snappy. Okay, that's working fine. So let's hit U on the keyboard to open up all the animated properties and we can just move over the offset keyframes in such a way that it feels a little bit, a little bit staggered. Uh, maybe I need to adjust the ease low a little bit. Okay, I think that works. So yeah, that's basically it. You can change this text to anything that you want and the animation would still work. I'm also going to upload this project file in the description, so feel free to download that and import into your project to use it right away. And that's it, hope this helped. If it did, please do leave a like and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one, bye bye.